mystery mineral is in here. So exciting! I'm so excited. Bruh. I'm so excited to find out if it's indeed the crystal that I think it is. Can't wait to show you guys. Hello. So I was here a while back and I bought these two crystals, but I forgot what they are, right? Okay. <laughs> and then, that happens all <laughs> Then while I was in- Wait a minute. You got that here? No, 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 this I didn't get oh, from yes. you. So while I was in Florida, I found this. So I found this mineral while I was in Florida in November of 2020. And the crazy thing is that I actually procrastinated buying crystals for a few months before I actually bought them. And I had just bought two new crystals a few weeks prior. And one of the crystals is the exact same color as this mystery mineral. I don't think it's a coincidence because everything happens for a reason and the universe is always watching. I asked Instagram what they thought. This, is this like a, a, is this just a regular rock or is it a mineral? See, ironically, it looks like the one I bought from you guys, except the one I bought from you guys is, uh, you can tell it's polished, obviously. <laughs> Clean. So I got this from you. I don't know. I thought that was rose quartz, but it I'm, is. It is okay. Oh. It doesn't have a whole lot of pink in it. Uh huh. But it has enough that I can tell. Okay, and I got this from you too. And I thought this looked kind of like that. No, because you see how. You see how you can see so much light through that. So that's the difference. So that's not a crystal. That's just a rock. Well, I can't tell you that this doesn't have crystal in it. Because crystal is quartz. Right. Crystal is just quartz. And this could very well have quite a bit of quartz in it. I can't tell. I personally can't tell. Right. Now, we have a guy that works for us tomorrow that might know. He's more into... But no guarantee. Crystal, there's no guarantee. Right. No just he may that. know. Okay. See, this is an interesting rock, though. Yeah, I thought yeah. that was so cool. And my grandmother's neighbor put it at her driveway to stop them from going on the lawn. That thing is too pretty for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I want to take it. Can I take it? She's like, yeah, sure. Yeah, it is very pretty. I took it, it on the plane. Like flashes in it, you know? Yeah. Like, so it's it's pretty cool. Yeah, I, you don't see them like this around here. No. So I but I don't know what it is. Citrine. Citrine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Because it has that flashy. So this yeah. might have quartz in it, but it's got a lot of other stuff too. Nice. You have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you so much. I'm going to look around at more of your uh, crystals. Absolutely. <laughs> Amethyst generator. I could die here. I could die here and I'd be extremely happy. All the crystals and rocks and the energy. Oh my gosh. The books. Everything is just so cool. I don't even know where to begin. I need a crystal um, that'll kind of help me with like patience and uh, just emotional stability to be calm and just peaceful serenity comment down below and let me know what crystals you own if you own any so this is what we ended up getting we got some uh white sage and we also got two crystals that we got amazonite <laughs> amazonite and we got blue lace agate or agate agate I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. It's okay. You can laugh at me in the comments. <laughs> no, no. So the reason why I picked these two, blue lace brings you positivity, a more uh, positive state of being. Um, it nurtures you. It calms you. It helps you with your anger issues and temper, which I'm currently working on. 
Amazonite helps you with your prosperity and good fortune. It helps calm you and it also helps you with your integrity and your character. If you have thyroid issue, it assists with that and it helps you with addiction. So today is the second attempt of trying to find out what the mystery mineral is. And we're also treating ourselves to a spa day. So stay tuned. <laughs> He's bougie, but pinky up. You can't tell him nothing. <laughs> this is day two. We're back here with the crystal specialist to find out what's going on with this mineral. Definitely not a rock. If you're one of my Instagram followers and you voted that it's only a rock, you were wrong. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I found this mm -hmm. in uh, Florida, uh -huh. and the guys were telling me uh, to come back because you would know more than them. Sure. Can I see one of Yeah, sure. The, the first thing that um, I really feel is that you're looking at a piece of quartz here. So rough quartz is throughout the United States, especially on the East Coast. So you'll see those all over the place. Um, but what you'd really need to do to get more specific as far as any other minerals that might be inside of there would be to have a piece of that broken off and then you can do mineral testing with that. And that'll give you a more detailed explanation of, of anything else that might be any occlusions that might be in there. Usually there's some, uh, some raw metal, which usually creates these little lines that are dark, usually copper or some iron might be in there and, that, and that'll create that sort of rust look over time yeah but but yeah quartz looks like that's the primary feature there but of course we do have some colors that are that are reminiscent of citrine as well so <laughs> i said that it's, it's, they can coexist uh quartz and citrine can oh yes, indeed. Yeah, so yeah. quartz is so so crystals are not made out of quartz quartz is not in every crystal correct Absolutely. oh yeah. okay indeed. so there's there's the crystalline structure of quartz is very similar uh in both quartz and in uh, citrine so oh. you can have that between yes indeed that's another way that we identify stones is by looking at how they are formed essentially what their structure is nice yeah. so where would I get it tested for mineral? Well, you could check in uh, like a jewelry shop. Mm -hmm. uh, they would have connections to the Gemologist Society and they could certainly uh, properly identify it for you beyond just a visual inspection. Okay. Okay. Nice. Thank you so You're much. So I appreciate it. But I bought citrine from you guys, ironically, sure, months sure. ago, yeah. before I even knew what it was. And mm -hmm. I asked the guy, one of the guys here, I said, hey, you know, pick out some the crystals for me. He picked out uh, citrine mm -hmm. and rose quartz. Very, and I didn't very even nice. know what they were. I wasn't, I was into it, but not really so much into it. Mm -hmm. So I, when I saw this, I put it next to the citrine and I'm like, it looks like the yes, same indeed. color, except the citrine is just, it, it was clean. Yes. So, and you know, it's shiny. Same. So you have... Uh, crystals that form outside versus mm -hmm. the ones that form inside caves. The ones that are in the caves are the ones that tend to be more clear because they don't have a lot of other minerals interacting with them. So they